My name is Paul Glaser, and I'm standing here together with Mr. Christian Beagle, the head of international sales at Skoda, and he's taken out time from his busy schedule to answer some questions. So can you tell us something about how Skoda is presenting itself here at the car show in Paris? If you just look at our stand today, you would find it's, it's fresh, it's open. If you compare that to a couple of years ago, that was really different. So we're basically rejuvenating the brand. Um, by you know changing our CI but also products and in terms of product that's what you see today here the, the Rapid which is really the first car um, that, that shows our new design language um, and I can tell you there's a lot more to come. What would you say that the Skoda Rapid means to the Skoda brand? It really is a milestone because it is the, the first product after changing our corporate identity and, and really the, the, the brand perception, it's the first product that, that sh materializes from that new strategy. So this is really a milestone. And again, it's the first product that shows, features our new design language, will, which will be basically something that you will find in the future in all the products, some key elements in our design, in, in our design language. So it is, it is the start um, of the largest product offensive the company has ever seen. What target group are you specifically addressing with the Skoda Rapid? The Rapid is, is, is definitely a car for young people because I think the price point is really attractive, but also for young families because it offers a lot of room. It's really practical. And at the end of the day, we think with that product, we can really tap into a large audience rather than really say, this is our target group from whatever, 23 to 27. With, we say we, we offer a lot of car. Uh, with a good design, mm -hmm. with good engines, good fuel consumption, and offer a lot of room at a good price point. What is there a big difference if you launch a car in Europe now? It says that China is going to be later there working, or you guys are working on the Chinese car. What, what is it that's different between the Chinese market or the Russian market and the European market, South American market? Right. Well, the, the thing is markets, markets have um, different, I would say, centers of gravity. For example, if you look at, at China, it's a market where you, people have usually drivers. Huh? So it's, it's, a, it's, a lot more, it's a lot more room needed, you have long wheelbase and all that stuff. So for example, if you look at Italy or France, okay, you have old cities, tiny cities, not a lot of parking space. So this is more like a smaller segment hatchback car. So it's, it's really markets are very, very different. And the, the, the idea in, in our industry, the idea of having one car that fits the world has failed many times. It's not, it's not working, it simply is not working. You have to cater to different customer needs and expectations. Okay. So have you, you've driven it yourself, I take it? Absolutely. Can you <laughs> uh, test, test driving it um, on one day with competitive products? Really one-to-one -one comparison test driving. And could, you get a better understanding. You get a better understanding. If, if, if you just drive it, you say, it feels good. I mean, I drive a Superb on a daily basis. So the driving, the handling is good. But you have a better impression of what the car is really capable of. If you, you, know, you drive the car, then you get into the next car. And a competitor car, competitor car, competitor, you go back to your car. You really see what, it, what the capabilities are in comparison to the competitors. And that's, that's, a very good, that's a very good experience. Okay, so to finish it off now. Now today they've actually told us the price of the car in Europe. What will it be? We start at um, roughly 14,000 euros. That is different from country to country because some countries take, for example, they take air condition as a national standard. So the price varies, but the base is, is roughly 14,000. That's where we are. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I know you're going back to a couple of meetings. So bye, everybody, thank and you. we'll bye. see you next time. Skoda. Simply clever.